Welcome to our first craft and story session. If you want to join in today's craft, you will need a square piece of paper, a pencil with a rubber on top and a drawing pin. Our story today is all about Pentecost, which we celebrated in church two weeks ago. When the wind blew, the story of Pentecost. Woo! A big wind was coming. In through the door rushed the sound of the wind and right round the room. Ooh. Fire came with the wind. Little flames blew round and came to rest. One flame on every person in the room. But no one was burned. Jesus' special friends were all together in that room when the wind came and the little flames of fire. Everyone started to talk all at once. But no one knew the words. They were all speaking strange languages. God's special helper had come. Now they would be able to tell the whole world about Jesus. There were lots of visitors in Jerusalem. They had come from far and wide. What's happening? What's happening? they asked. Someone is telling the wonderful things that God has done, said one of them. I can hear it in my very own language. So can I. So can I, said another. Peter stood up and spoke to the people. We have to tell you about Jesus, how God sent him to rescue us and make us safe. And you let him die on a cross. What are we to do, they asked. Tell God that you are sorry and he will forgive you, Peter said. Then, if you want... You can all be Jesus' friends. That day, 3,000 people said, yes, we want to be Jesus' friends. Rosie will now demonstrate our craft. Okay, and my craft today, uh, we have um, a pinwheel. So here's one I made earlier. And in this wind, as it's a little bit um, breezy, the wind will go round like this. Um, sometimes it even works with me blowing it. Um, I did get it going in the wind just uh, earlier, it's not going at the moment. But this, is, this pinwheel is a little bit like um, how the Holy Spirit is. You can't actually see what the Holy Spirit is doing, but you can see the results. You can see the pretty patterns that it's making. Um, let's hold it up again, see if we can catch the wind. Yeah, there we go! <laughs> The Holy Spirit at work. Anyway, I'll quickly show you how to make one of these. So you need um, some card or, or even paper, probably should do it. You need a square, okay? So get stuff, I've got blue card, but you can have white or any other color. And then you need to fold it in half to make a line and fold it again um, that way. So you've got the, the creases. Okay, so now with a pair of scissors, all you need to do is to cut along the fold, but don't go right up to the middle, okay? Just come back about an inch or so, okay? So we cut along there like that. So okay, again, don't go right up to the, to the middle. So cut along all four folds like that. And then we need to do a bit of colouring. So here's my bag of um, pens. I'm just going to do this really quickly, just so you can see what's needed. So. and say do both sides okay so now we need to sort of start folding it up um, so you take one corner and you put it into the middle and just hold it in place like so and then you get the next triangular piece fold up the corner move along fold up the corner and then fold again so we're looking at that sort of shape okay so now you need to get a little drawing pin, okay, like so, and you need a pencil that's got a good size rubber on the end, okay, and very carefully, you might need um, to get some help with this, you need to put the pin through all 
four corners so it's going through the middle and then attach it on to the rubber bit of your pencil very carefully through like that and there you go and there's your pinwheel okay so have fun making some of these and so there's my other one um, make them as colourful as you like um, and maybe if you like send me a picture I'd love to see what you're up to